Hey YouTube, it is Lucy and I've got Joel behind the camera like mocking me going. So anyways, <laughs> it's hard to focus. Um, I've had a lot of questions about what are my favorites, uh, baby items, must-haves. So I want to do a video of my favorite must-have baby items within the first two weeks of the delivery, labor, birth, whatever it is that you want to call it. So what? Can I have a short list real quick? Yes. Sleepers, diapers, wipes, <laughs> and swaddle <Okay>. blankets. <laughs> and a boob. And a boob. <laughs> That's, That's it. it. That's okay, it. so oh, burp clots. my okay. list isn't much longer than that. And I have no, was that a phone? Battery yeah, dying? Phone. Battery okay. Dying. So the first thing that I want to start with, because we're going to have to like go throughout the house because I didn't gather everything in one thing or in one spot because I'm like really lazy like that. So anyways, the very first item is um muslin blankets or whatever blanket that it is that's your favorite so i have two muslin blankets and then this blanket if you want to look down here the underside of it is a minky it was a gift from the kinsey family it came from etsy and i absolutely love it it's Very just nice. the quality it's soft i mean it really is like the absolute most perfect blanket and i've used it seriously all day every day so the next item which i'm just going to throw over here is a boppy pillow not necessarily the cover which i absolutely love and adore but you can get the boppy pillows walmart target bye bye baby babies are us almost anywhere um i love these not just for breastfeeding but tummy time learning to sit up i mean they're they're really great for so many different reasons but we're talking about the first two weeks here so yes obviously nursing the next item is my breast pump i am breastfeeding but i do want to maintain my supply have some storage and then plus i'm also pumping for two of our other three kids and yes this is ghetto rigged up because jason broke off the little nipple thing. yeah so we have to buy a new face plate and medela makes you buy a million other things when you try to buy just one item so we haven't done it yet but i have the advanced pump install backpack double electric love it it's great it's obviously dirty you can tell it's well used so that's the next item next item is going to be breast pads now i know a lot of people out there like really love the washable ones and are not a fan of the disposable ones but i leak like crazy so just gonna be honest here, I like the disposable ones. I know that's not very earthy and crunchy and hippy of me, but I don't care. I like the disposable ones. These are my favorites. I leak way too much for washable ones. It just soaks straight through it. So these are my favorites. The next on our list is a bouncy chair. Uh, explain. That's it, bouncy no, chair. No, explain why it's our favorite. Um, I don't know if it's our favorite. It's the one that we have. The reason we got it is because it's big around <laughs> and it's deep. I thought you weren't going to use those words to describe it. Okay, so in all reality, normally the cheaper ones are going to be skinnier and they really don't let the baby sink down into them. The one we got is going to be a, a complete circle as opposed to like a rectangle and then it, this baby actually can sink down into it. Um, I don't know why we always worry about what the fabric is because we always just cover it with a blanket anyway, so it <laughs> doesn't really matter. It has music vibration, all that stuff. We never use that. It doesn't matter. To us, at least, if it does matter. There you go. We actually got this at Bye Bye Baby. For um, a really big discount. I think it was supposed to be like $65 and we got it for 30 because it's shop savvy. Yeah. So. Love that app. Another love reason love, we love got it. it. Alright, so we're going to move on to the next. The other thing is we can't use our actual comforter. So we have to use yeah. all of these little throw blankets and stuff on our blanket on oh, our bed. And speaking of that big old white stuff over there is split up, so we have to wash the sheets. Let's see. <laughs> that happened this morning. That's split up. Thanks, Lucy, for letting that happen. Yeah. So um, normally when I nurse at night, I like a very absorbent burp cloth to put underneath my boob that baby can lay on to nurse, so that doesn't happen. But uh, I got lazy this morning, and that happened. So, yes, absorbent, like the terry cloth type. Um, I haven't used a minky one. This is, of course, it's not a burp cloth. It's a bib. But I don't think I have any that have this. And I know a lot of people do. So I don't know how absorbent that is. But 
This is my favorite. Love, love, love the absorbent ones. Burp cloths, must. This on the list is the other blanket that I was talking about. It's a muslin blanket. We have quite a few. These are the only two I have to show you because the rest of them are in the wash. But I like these for trying to nurse. Um, at the very beginning, they when they root, they like to put their hands in their mouth. So it's good if you have mittens or either to swaddle them because it helps them, you know, prevent putting hands in the way because a lot of the times, at least with Rainbow, she will put a hand on the boob and, and move the nipple out of her mouth and then she gets all worked up. So I like to keep them covered and at uh, nighttime, she sleeps the best when swaddled up next to me. So yeah, these are, they're very, very thin. See here. So kind of like gauze material, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, like basically. Ish. Yeah. I mean, they're very, very thin, very breezy, and especially living in Texas, this is just a great blanket, period. So, that's what I'm trying to see here. 100% cotton. Hmm. There you go. But yeah, they're, I mean, these are just great blankets, period. I absolutely love them. We have, I don't know, we have a few. How many would you say is a must? A must? Depending on how often you do laundry, really. Three or four, yeah. Yeah. We have more than that, though. I mean, we do laundry um, every day, so... But as you can see, except for yesterday, still, I know we're behind. Yeah, we, we only have two. Oh, we're not behind. It's okay to take a day break. Not just a sleeper, but the sleeper that has the built-in little booties, socks, feet, covers, whatever you want to call them, and then the little built-in hand mittens. Now, I don't know how other countries work, but we have sleepers where you can just put the hand through like this, and then it has like a little pocket that you just fold over, and then you have built-in hand mittens which are awesome so if y'all remember a couple of videos back I asked about pacifiers because I really did not want to have to deal with another girl who sucked her fingers so my solution has been these our uh, little rainbow has lived like the first two weeks in sleepers because they have built-in mittens and she's not sucking her fingers so i'm hoping that we can get breastfeeding well established that she finds comfort in me and not those hands so moving on to the next side is a rice sock i love these now obviously we have heating pads in the world but they don't like conform to your body the way a rice sock does so it works tremendously better but I like these for afterbirth because you have the afterbirth cramps and pains that are just they're god-awful that's all I can say they are horrible so what I like to do is you put this in the microwave for depending on your own personal preference a minute two minutes I don't like mine ridiculously hot but I do like it pretty warm and then if you can pan down um, for me, most of my cramps that I get after birth are like right here. So I just lay it on there and I mean, it works great. I absolutely love them. I do suggest making two though. You just get a big old tube sock, put some rice in it and that's it. So that way when one is uh, not warm, you already have another one that's ready to go. So the next thing is a baby carrier. This is a definite must have for me, especially with having other kids and being at home, trying to multitask and being out of the house. Um, this one was a gift and I absolutely love it. It is a Snuggie baby and this is actually the only carrier I have used since she was born and I've used it every single time I've been out of the house. So it's um, it has some padding right here. It's a ring sling and yes, I absolutely love it. It is, again, a must-have. This is it that covers all the must-haves other than diapers. I mean, obviously, diapers is a must. So we use cloth, the disposables, and the current um, cloth that we're using based on her size is a little dewy. So, and they work okay. I mean, we have had some leaks. So, anyways, anything else, Dad? Nope. Nope, that's it? Yep. All right, high five, we're done. Woo! Adios, y'all. Bye.